Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question Which of the following does not exit the pelvic to the greater sciatic ramen? So, it is the direct question and short question that the structure which not exit through the greater sciatic problem that means the structure which is not related to the greater sciatic problem and this structure not pass through the greater sciatic problem so first of all we have to find out the greater sciatic problem then we have to find out the structure which is located at the greater sciatic problem so here are the options options are superior gluteal artery internal pudental vessels sciatic nerve obturator nerve and inferior gluteal nerve so we have to find out one of the structure or one of the vessel or nerve which need not exit to the greater sciatic nose so first of all let's see the greater sciatic foramen so here is the red structure it is the greater sciatic foramen and here the smaller part here we can see in this picture this is the laser sciatic problem and this greater sciatic problem which is bounded by the sacro tuberous and sacro spinous ligament here we can see this is the sacro tuberous ligament and also the case of laser sciatic nose sacro spinous ligament also so this whole this is the greater sciatic problem and here this hole from the back we can see this is the another hole which is the laser sciatic nose and we can see the greater and laser sciatic nose they are located in the hip bone and in the second picture we can see the different structure which is located in the greater sciatic nose first of all we can see this is the muscle this muscle is the pyriformis muscle this muscle this is the pyriformis muscle and pyriformis muscle is located into the greater sciatic foramen and it divides the great side the greater sciatic foramen into the upper part and lower part in the upper part we can see there is the superior gluteal vessels and nerve so the content which is located into the greater sciatic foramen it is the superior gluteal nerve and vessels then we can see be, below the pyriformis there is another vessels and nerve and these vessels and nerve are the inferior gluteal vessels and inferior gluteal nerve so in the greater sciatic problem first of all first contact content is the pyriformis muscle then we can see superior gluteal vessels and superior gluteal nerve then we can see the inferior gluteal vessel and inferior gluteal nerve and we also can see some other structure passing through this greater sciatic and this is here we can see this is the pudental nerve and internal pudental vessels so the pudental nerve and internal pudental vessels they passes through the greater sciatic nose and through the laser sciatic nose and you can see two other nerve it also present into the greater sciatic foramen one is the sciatic nerve another one is the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh so here the all structure passes through the greater sciatic foramen so again we can see superior gluteal nerve and superior gluteal vessels then inferior gluteal nerve inferior gluteal vessels one important muscle this is the piriformis muscle then we can see the pudental nerve and internal pudental vessels then nerve to obturator internus then posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh and sciatic nerve so they all are the the structure which passes or which is located at the greater sciatic problem then in this picture we can see this is the different structure and the again this is the superior gluteal artery and gluteal artery vein and nerve and here also this is the inferior gluteal vessel and nerve also and here we can see this is the pyriformis muscle and just below the pyriformis muscle there are some other muscles so it is the normal structure which is usually located at the greater sciatic problem so this box is very very important for any type of exam so read carefully and try to memorize the informations so here first of all nerve the sciatic nerve superior and inferior gluteal nerve pudental nerve 
posterior femoral cutaneous nerve nerve to quadratus femoris and nerve to obturator internus so again because this content are very very important for any type of the exam first of all sciatic nerve then superior inferior gluteal nerve pudental nerve posterior femoral cutaneous nerve nerve to quadratus femoris nerve to obturator internus so they are the nerve which usually present in the greater sciatic problem then some of the vessels first of all superior gluteal artery and vein then inferior gluteal artery and vein the internal pudental artery and vein so this information is very very important also superior gluteal artery and superior gluteal vein inferior gluteal artery and inferior gluteal vein the internal pudental artery and internal pudental vein then we can see the another picture this picture also very much important because here we can see this muscle this is the psoas major muscle here we can see this is the psoas major muscle and within this psoas major muscle we can see there it's a nerve plexus and it is the lumbar plexus so the lumbar plexus it is located within the psoas major muscle and here we can see from the psoas major muscle this is a nerve this nerve is the obturator nerve and this nerve arising from the lumbar 2 lumbar 3 and lumbar 4 so this is the anterior division of the lumbar 2 lumbar 3 and lumbar 4 so from the lumbar 2 lumbar 3 and lumbar 4 we can see there is a nerve which is the obturator nerve it form within the source major muscle then it runs and we can see this obturator nerve it runs through the pelvis and it not go back it comes forward and finally it reaches the adductor compartment of the leg so the obturator nerve as it not goes back so the obturator nerve is not present at the level of the greater sciaticness and or foramen then we can see the femoral nerve also femoral nerve also it is derived from the lumbar 2 lumbar 3 and lumbar 4 dorsal division then it travel to this and finally it also reaches the anterior aspect of the thigh so femoral nerve it also not located in the sciatic greater sciatic muscle so our final answer is the obturator nerve obturator nerve is not passes through the greater sciatic problem actually the obturator nerve it passes through the obturator problem who is present in the anterior part of the pelvis and other options as of the gluteal artery uh, superior gluteal artery, superior gluteal artery, it lies above the piriformis. Then internal pudental vessel, it also present in the greater sciatic foramen. Then sciatic nerve, it is the largest nerve, and it also presents here. Then the inferior gluteal nerve, it also present, and it present inferior to the piriformis muscle. So our answer is ready. Obturator nerve, it usually not passes through the greater sciatic foramen. Thank you all.